treasurers welcome to another video so in today's video we are going to be going through and looking at some um, member post from my uh, jewelry group on Facebook it's called thrifty jewelry treasures and I invite the members to come over and share their best sales of jewelry for the week that they had and I compile them all and I bring them to you here in a video this way we can all learn more about jewelry, jewelry what's selling um, and what kind of prices you can pick things up for and flip them for. So let's get started. So I meant to make this bigger so you weren't seeing everything here. Um, hang on, here we go. Okay, so uh, the very first one I'm going to share is, okay, <clears throat> is a couple sales that I had, uh, nothing too crazy. I sold this, um, really gorgeous uh, vintage red, white, blue, rhinestone, patriotic, eagle, American flag, gold tone pin. Got to get those keywords in. So this probably came inside of a jewelry jar and it sold for $14.99. A really, really pretty pin. Um, let's see. Let me move that over. So the next sale that I had was... Um, a vintage men's Ben Russ 10K rolled gold wristwatch, red gems non-working. So this also came inside of a jewelry jar, and I we flip the page here. I received a best offer for twenty dollars, so I accepted that plus uh, three ninety-five shipping. So I probably paid maybe about a quarter for this. Is what I round my items out to be per item whenever um, I buy um, jewelry jars. Okay. So let's get that out of the way. The next item is from Todd. He is also Silver Hair Stacker on YouTube. Um, that's the name of his channel if you'd like to go follow him over there. He um, puts out a, real, a lot of really great content um, and a lot of it is about jewelry and he also knows a whole lot about silver coins. Um, so here he has a, I guess it's pronounced Seda Gold over 925 sterling pink orange stone bracelet seven and a quarter long and this bracelet here sold for $39.95 and he charged $2.61 shipping. Um, I did want to point out I think that Todd's pictures are really great. I love all the close-ups especially he'll give a close-up of the clasp. That's important. People want to know what kind of closure is going to be on an item. There's a close-up um, of the stamp and I really like the way he included a ruler for scale so that the potential buyer can see uh, right then and there how, much, how, many, how big something is rather. So, and there's another close up of the class. And this is a really great idea, especially if you're selling uh, fine jewelry, be it silver or gold. It's always a good idea to show um, a picture of it on a scale so they can see how many grams the piece weighs. And that's exactly what Todd did here. So. Bravo to you, Todd. Great pictures. Okay. The next item is from Angela in our jewelry group. And Angela paid $10 for this ring. She originally bought it, you know, she intended to keep it for herself. And then she decided to sell it, and it sold for $24.99. Her title reads, Vintage Sterling Silver African Purple Sogalite Sunflower Adjustable 92K. So, and um, Angela really has some awesome pictures here as well. Very nice. I love this little ring display. I, I need to get me one of those. That's really nice. Oh, and this is also a really, really good tip, you guys. This is also, if you have a ring sizer, I, my ring sizer looks exactly um, like Angela's. But this is a really good idea if you're selling rings to actually place the ring on the ring sizer and give a close-up picture of it so that the customer can see exactly what the sizing is on it. So great job, Angela. Thank you so much for sharing your sale with us. The next item is from GN. And GN shared this super cute little vintage Norway pewter elephant pendant. Um, E-H, and it looks like it's pronounced Eivind Hillestad, Hillestad, and she says, uh, 
was just listed one day. I'm running a whole store 20% off sale this month. So, and also she has really great pictures too. Um, I'm not sure what she paid for it, but um, $10 is a great little quick flip for her. She said it was just listed one day, so it sold pretty fast. Um, the next item is from Lonnie. Lonnie also has a channel on YouTube. He is Garage Flips. If you guys want to go check him out, he puts out some really good content. I especially like his sales update videos, and you can learn a whole lot from him about what to pick up when you're out at the thrift shops and the garage garage sales. So Lonnie had uh, gone through a jewelry, little jewelry spell, <laughs> where he was um, picking up some of it, and he picked up a bunch of these rings and a lot. And he um, says, Tanya, this is the best I got. I have like 50 of these and it's taking a while. So, and he looks like, um, almost looks like a, yeah, a diamond engagement ring, definitely. And it sold for $9.99 plus $2.66 shipping. So we were talking about this the other day and I told Lonnie, I was like, you should feel good. I mean, just think how many women are getting engaged with these rings, right? <laughs> So he's making people happy by selling this stuff. So great job, Lonnie. Um, the next sale is from our member, Laura Jenkins. She says she found this in a storage unit we cleaned out for free with a ton of other jewelry and odds and ends. So um, this looks like something you might just pass up at a garage sale. But look here, she made $10 off of it. So her title reads, Disabled American Vets Keychain. License plate, Connecticut, CT 1959, blue, FZ 370. So it sold for $10 and $2.95 for shipping. That is definitely great. Nice little flip there. And our next sale is from Brenda. Uh, Brenda says that she bought this Joan Rivers Gold hand knotted cream check glass bead 16 inch necklace bracelet set at a community sale. She paid $4 and it sold for $34.99. She said it took three months to sell. So that is a really good flip. And I love your pictures too, Brenda. They're great. Joan Rivers jewelry sells really well, you guys. So always pick it up when you see it. So that is a really great sale. Thank you, Brenda. The next sale is also from Brenda. Um, she says that she bought this uh, 10K yellow gold five stone fa faceted amethyst cross pendant, JCM Jackmel Martis Martius for $2. And she sold it for $39.99. And she said that also, no, that one took three weeks. This one took three weeks to sell. The one that I just showed you prior to this one took three months to sell. Um, so thank you so much, Brenda, for sharing that. And she also has um, a little box in here, I believe, for scale. But her pictures are absolutely amazing. That is a stunning cross. I just love it. Um, and also very smart, Brenda. She did, uh, she also weighed the piece as well. And did the ruler for scale. I'm impressed. These are really great tips um, for you guys to try in your listings too. So it looks like Brenda is doing everything right here that she is supposed to be. Thank you so much for sharing, Brenda. Okay, our next one comes from Maria Lopez in our jewelry group. And can I just say Maria sells amazing things and she gets amazing returns on her items, you guys. So Maria actually shared a few items with us, so I'm thankful for that. Here she has um, a tie bar that she picked up for $2.99, and it sold for $42.99 plus $2.99 shipping. Can you even believe that, you guys? A simple little tie bar. So, and she has a little um, measurement there, so you can see for scale. So... That is really nice. Great sell. So be looking for that brand, definitely. Um, let me read you the title. It says it's Vintage Signed Rabahias. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Copper Textured Tie Bar Slash Money Clip Mid-Century. So 
definitely be looking for those um, tie bars and money clips, you guys, because something so small that you pay so little for can bring a nice, very nice return. Another one here from Maria is, um, she says, always look for this artist. His mid-century pieces are going for good money, even just copper. Not long, not long time ago, I found this necklace earrings bracelet set for $20 on eBay. It's worth a few hundred, but I loved it so much, I kept it for myself. So that is definitely a very nice um, set that she has there. And I'm telling you, if you guys make the time, you can find some really good deals on eBay. Um, people sometimes just don't realize what exactly it is that they have. This next sell is from our member, Bonnie. And Bonnie shares this 1960s David Anderson modernist sterling silver pendant. And it's really nice looking. And this isn't actually her listing I don't think um, well maybe it is let's look at her pictures let's see if they'll let us look at those oh, okay so she says that she bought this for eight dollars at a market and it looks like it sold for a hundred and thirty five dollars Wow that is a significant flip there, Bonnie. That is great profit. So, and her pictures are really good too. Very nice. Thank you so much for sharing that, Bonnie. Okay. Our next item comes from Cynthia and our group. And she sourced this for $1 at a flea market. And it sold for $18.84. Her auction title reads Antique Watch, FOB, H&H Stamped, Cross Grain, Ribbon, Morning Black, uh, Victorian. So <clears throat> her pictures are really great. I feel like this black really pops on this white background. So a $1 flip, you guys. I'm telling you. And look, she puts a penny in there for skill. Very smart. Great picture, Cynthia. I love that. Okay, our next sell is from Nadine in our jewelry group. And Nadine found this brooch inside of a jewelry jar. So she probably paid about a quarter, give or take, um, a little bit on that. And it sold for $14.97 plus $2.95 shipping. Her title reads Vintage AJC Angel Swinging on Moon Pin Brooch Gold Tone Cherub. And um, she's got some really good pictures. I think the gold looks really nice on that black background. Very nice pictures. And there's an up close of it signed right there so you can see it. So AJC is definitely um, one you want to be on the look lookout for and pick it up. I usually sell my, my AJC pens for about the same price point, about $15. So $15 can add up, you guys. Those $10 and $15 sales can add up really quick into lots of good profit money. Um, the next one here is from our um, jewelry ninja, Maria, again. And she purchased this in a jewelry jar, if you can even believe that, you guys. And she accepted a best offer for $400. So her title reads, Vintage 18 Carat Solid Yellow Gold and Diamonds bow tie ribbon brooch pin and she also included the weight 9.8 grams so this is just absolutely stunning gorgeous so here are her pictures very nice that's an amazing sell Maria I am very impressed The next um, item comes from, I remember, Debbie. Um, Debbie also has a YouTube channel if you guys want to go check her out. The name of her channel is Debbie and Max Go Thrifting. You can also see it right here for her user ID and very impressive feedback there, over 10,000. Very impressive, Debbie. So she has a cell here. Her title reads, Three Piece Black and Gold Jewelry Set Necklace Bracelet and Pierced Earrings. And it sold for $9.95 with free shipping. 
and Debbie's pictures are also very amazing. And how cute is her little ruler, you guys? Super cute. Amazing pictures. You know, they give you, I think, what is it, 12 slots? You might as well fill them all up, right? So, and she's using some different props to model the items. Very smart. Love all of that. Great job, Debbie. Thank you so much for sharing. Next item is from Maria again, and the title reads, Solid 14 Karat White Gold Diamond Circle Piece Sign Necklace Pendant, 16.5 Inches, Italy. And this one, I can't remember if she told me how much she bought this one for. Knowing her, probably not a lot, but she sold it for $101.20. Pretty amazing sell. And she has a coin for scale. She also put the item um, on a scale to weigh it, which is awesome. Great sell, Maria. The next item comes from Thelma Thrift. Thelma also has a channel on YouTube, and it's called Thelma Thrift, and she does amazing jewelry haul videos, you guys, and you've got to go check her out. She is amazing. Definitely one to follow if you love to sell jewelry. So she sold these Weiss Vintage Pink Rhinestone earrings um, for $32 shipped. She sold them on Etsy, and she sourced on eBay for $6. Um, and she says that she has an identical pair in orange listed as well. So I'm telling you guys, I definitely have sourced stuff on eBay myself and turned around and sold it back on eBay again. So, um, eBay is also a really great place to source, especially if you live like in remote areas. Okay. The next item is from our member April and she is sharing this really nice pair of cufflinks here. She says they sold for $65 plus shipping on her Etsy shop. They are Delft Holland ceramic swank cufflinks found at Goodwill for only $6. Wow, those are amazing, April. I love those. And it looks like your pictures are really good, too. I love that little furry background. And our final item comes from our member, Morgan. Um, Morgan has a large 925 sterling silver jewelry lot, vintage to modern, 110 grams here, that he sold for $60. And his pictures are very well organized. I love how he laid everything out so that the potential buyer can see exactly what they're getting. Really great pictures. And you guys, if you want to make some decent money, um, lotting your stuff together is definitely the way to go. So thank you so much, Morgan. That's a really good sell. So <clears throat> let me see if I can turn this off and turn me back on. Minimize that. Oh, okay, here we are. So let me make me a little bit bigger. Uh, I can't do that. Why can't I do that? You move me over here okay so I hope that you guys enjoyed the video if you would like to share your great sales of the week for jewelry uh, come on over and join our group on Facebook it's called thrifty jewelry treasures and we would love to see you over there so um, drop me a comment down below let me know what you thought of the video and we will see you in the next one and thanks to all the members who participated I really appreciate it bye everybody